Welcome back, my craft of is here. I haven't recorded a video in a while, but this is my new creation. Now, I just dropped a piece of white wool. Um, this is one of my bigger creations, and I usually don't use command blocks in my build wall. Uh, some of the time I do, but usually not so much. This time, I have used quite a few of them. Um, in order to create this, um, recreation in Minecraft 1.8 of the classic Swedish game Pentago. So, the way the Pentago works, in case you're not familiar with it, is it is a game where you're on a 6x6 grid made of three different, uh, made of four different 3x3 segments, which you can see here, um, that can rotate. Um, so, the goal of the game is to get five of your tiles in a row. And um, the way that I recreated this is with these pieces of white and black wool. So, the way you place them in is just regular. So, um, um, basically the player has three turns, and your goal is to get five of your piece in a row, or uh, it could be row, column, or diagonal. Um, so it's sort of like tic tac toe, except that it's six by six, five in a row, and um, a different little game feature um, where the tiles can turn later on, which I'll show you. Um, that was probably the bulk of this build. So let's say, um, I'm just going to demonstrate the game. Let's say um, the um, player with white wool moves over there. And then the player with black wool decides to move right here. I'll we'll say, then the player with white wool decides to go over here. And the player with black wool decides to go over here on return. Um, well, um, by the way, this thing, you only, um, um, part of the concept, part of the main concept of the game is that after you have at least two tiles on each, um, segment, in, on each of the four segments, then you actually, um, start spinning the tiles, which is quite interesting, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so then let's say the player with black wool moves here, then the player with white wool moves here, then the player with black wool moves here, and the player with white wool moves here. In reality, that wouldn't be a good move, but... Well, now, since there's two tiles on each, um, on each of the four squares, it's an interesting thing starts happening. Each, um, um, player has to spin, um, a tile. Um, each player has to spin a tile, um, at least 90 degrees. They have to. I mean, you're able to do it before that, but the problem with doing it before that is if you just spin something like this, then it doesn't do anything. So, they were allowed to, but, um, once there's at least two tiles on each segment, then people start spinning, so let me show you that in action. So, let's say, um, the, um, let's say, so I believe, um, the person with black wool, or the person with white wool just played. So, let's say they want to spin this top one counterclockwise, and they press this button, and you will spin that counterclockwise. Now, by the way, this whole system is really just me showing off this new method of spinning that I've discovered. There's no rotation command in Minecraft, which I'm, I think they should for sure add, but there isn't a rotation command, which has made this quite a bit of a tricky thing to build. Um, but as you can see, I successfully made rotation in Minecraft. So, as you can see, that one rotated. Um, by the way, um, this is how the setup works. So, this one corresponds to that tile, this one corresponds to that tile, that one to that one. You get it's, it's based off the layout of the board. The first one means move count means move clockwise. Second one means move counterclockwise. So the um this moved this one counterclockwise. Now um player um black decides well I am going to move um here. I will move right here. And I will also spin uh, let's say this one, like this. Uh, I don't know why they would do that, but let's just say they do. Um, and then the white player is like, um, oh, oh, I will then move right here and decide to spin this tile, like that. Well, then black player might be like, oh, I see what you're doing, I'll do that. And spin that back, and you get it. It's sort of an interesting game. Um, I don't know. Oh, that was out there before? I think that was. Um... Um, you get it, it's quite an interesting game, and the goal of how to win is you have to get five in a row. So, just for the heck of it, let me demonstrate that. Let's say, um, player black moves here, and then spins that, and then player, um, white moves here, and 
it spins the bottom one. Then player black could win by just doing this. So it's quite an interesting game, just a fair warning. I haven't actually made an ending game system yet to detect if you have five in a row or if any of the players have five have five in a row. I do encourage you to um add that if you decide to build this for yourself or something. Uh, I'm not going to give I'm not going to give a tutorial for this, but um um, I haven't added that yet, but that would actually take up 120 command blocks, so it might be quite a lot. Um, but basically, this video is mainly just to show you the, um, um, th this is a method of rotation that I have done in Minecraft. That's what a lot of this is. So, let's say you, um, have the letter T, like, up here, like this. Hold on, wait. Let's draw this in. And say you want to rotate it from the side for some reason. Well, this is the technical method of doing it in Minecraft that I discovered. So you take um, um, every single pixel and you move it two around if you want to do just a three by three grid. So you take this pixel and you move it two over. But the thing is, if you just did it over here, it got really messy and stuff. So you have to move it over here to the corresponding place. So like. This would move two clockwise, if, say, you want to move the T clockwise, so it's like this. Um, well, this would move two clockwise, so it would go over there, but you want to actually place it over here, because when we're, um, doing this just for demonstration, so you can get a comparison for, um, so that you can get a comparison. Then, you move on to this one, moving two, kind of, moving two clockwise, it would go to there, but you want to move it over here, so you do that. Then you add this one, which is the black towel symbol from the black towel, um, then you want to move... Then you would move that to over here, so you get this. And this one, you would move over here, but you move it over here. This one, you would move it over here, so you move it corresponding over here. Then this one, you would move over here, therefore, over here it goes. You might be able to see it's more rotated shape. This one would move over here, so you can put that right over there. This one would move over there. And so I do that, and the middle one just stays the same. There we go, you have a rotated T. Then at the end, you just clone it back in. Um, this is what the command blocks would do. So, you would have something like this, and that's your rotated T. Now, it's quite a big concept, that's why there's so many command blocks. Um, it's quite complicated, but that's how all this works, really. And all the rest of the restaurants just open up the buttons to, um, um, move each of them like counterclockwise. Oh, I should probably mention, you have to do all that again, but in reverse if you want to move it counterclockwise. So it's quite a lot, and that's why there's 82 command blocks in this build. So thank you guys for watching this video, um, of me using rotation in Minecraft to build Pentago. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, and goodbye.